us. Why would you want to destroy the family? Why would you want to debase culture? Why from a kind of a Machiavellian, somebody has to rule the world, it might as well be me perspective. Why would they want to do that? I um, would say it's because um, the groups have hatred toward uh, European culture. Well, l l let me throw out another reason where I'm fishing for an answer here. So let me throw yeah. it out and then you can respond to it. It's that, yeah, maybe that. But the other thing is, hey, man, it's about control and shit. So you can do your thing the way you want it to be done. You don't want people thinking freely. You don't want people doing their own thing. Even you will sacrifice progress for control. The first and foremost thing you want is control. So any way you can kind of leave people scrambling or unsure of these kind of things or just in a state of upset, it really is good if you're into control. Uh, what do you think about that in addition to what you're saying? About well, I mean, no, no, it's, that's well said and and, uh, and quite correct. I mean, the idea is, is basically atomized individuals, individuals without social and ethnic connections are far easier to control. They are incapable of rebellion. Um, and so uh, if you look at, you know, what has been uh, destroyed by the secret society in, say, the United States from the end of World War II to today. I mean, you start out with the ethnic communities, um, particularly ethnic Catholic communities. Um, these were targeted um, and basically, you know, pushed out into suburbia where they just became the uh, vast white middle class. Um, and then from there, you, you began with sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And, um, you know, culture started to atomize even further. Um, they uh, basically promoted a kind of feminism. Gloria Steinem was a CIA agent promoting a kind of feminism that would even, you know, atomize the family a step further. The single mom with the welfare check became something that uh, was seen as uh, or given to the population as positive. And then, you know, integration was also um, promoted. Again, it's just the idea of the, um, the more atomized that an individual is, the, the easier it is for the oligarchs to control. So atomized and homogenized at the same time to just make you feel isolated and alone. And like you sure. said, what you, how are you going to rebel when you feel you're an island, when you feel you don't have any strong group to bond to and say, OK, let's go attack the castle? Exactly. That's that's like you couldn't I couldn't say it any better. I mean, that's exactly what they had in mind. And that's exactly <clears throat> what they did. You can see in their creation of the sex, drugs and rock and roll culture, you know, a, a kind of uh, a desire to use Eros, you know, the pleasure principle, so-called um, to lure people away from the the cultural connections that could create an organization that could that could basically uh, contest the power of the oligarchs. So um, basically, we have been the victim of uh, weaponized anthropology, weaponized psychology. Um, if you look at the groups that really, you know, have the you know the focus of evil, I mean, inside them we see you know just so many psychologists. An interesting thing for people to do is there's a, a video called um, Conversation About LSD, and, uh, you know, it's on uh, YouTube. And these are individuals that were involved in the MKUltra project. And you can see the number of psychologists, anthropologists, psychiatrists. I mean, it's just a, it's a collection of intellectual technique that's all been brought together for evil.